groceries that I ordered on Big Basket so I'm just gonna do a quick grocery haul focus all focus please walk yeah so first uh, first I got cornflakes I got peanut butter this is not the one that I usually buy oh, that one was out of stock so I got this one in a small tub bread mango juice oh, i also got pringles and i got a few ramen these are actually korean noodles and i love them i got three in the hot chicken flavor these are very very spicy and i normally hate spicy food but i love these and I got another one in hot chicken flavor ramyeon carbonara or lachimolala. If you know what that is, you just know. Okay. I also got some meat products. I got chicken cocktail sausages. And I got two chicken nuggets from two different brands. This one is from Kevinters and this one is from Mitsa snacks that is all 
for my grocery haul. I'm a blossom, I don't need a bottom money to my rival I'm official, on a dolly, you can hit a room room in my robbery I'm not sorry, no I'm not sorry It's official, I'm a problem, I don't mean it this far I'm not sorry wanted to learn a new language and uh, I was kind of like wondering um, which language to learn uh, and I chose Korean or Hangul now you might wonder why Korean or why Hangul well I have very valid reasons okay so number one I love watching K-dramas and I watch them a lot actually even one of my biggest fear is that I might run out of good Korean dramas to watch because I watch them so much I I watch them a lot so and anyway all uh, and obviously as you know that listening is very important in order to learn something uh, so and yes uh, Korean dramas uh, actually helped me a lot is still helping me a lot to learn uh, the language because I can understand the pronunciations the other uh, correct pronunciations or the implementations of a phrase uh, and everything uh, number two is a uh, Korean because I actually I was kind of researching before I started uh, to uh, learn and I found out that uh, Korean sentence framing is quite uh, similar to my mother tongue uh, that is um, Bengali or um, Bangla. There is a, frame, a sentence framing or the grammar part is kind of similar to Bengali. So that was another one uh, like good reason for me to uh, stick with Korean. Um, and the third reason would be um, I would love to watch the V Live videos without waiting for the subtitles. And 
if you know what i mean then you know and if you don't know what i mean then just don't bother <laughs> coming back to the studying part uh, i have been actually taking my korean lessons from this website called koreanclass101.com um it is a it's a very good website like it's great it's very neat uh, organized informative easy and also it gives out cultural insights meanings vocabularies it has audios for you to uh, like understand the pronunciations better it's a great website and if you're also interested to learn korean then i'll leave the uh, link in my description box below so do check them out and yeah now i'm just going to go and learn some korean so i was actually editing this vlog and i just realized that i never really uh, ended the vlog properly 
so i'm just going to do that right now but before that i have some things to add number one is that normally my days uh, my quarantine days where where slash are not this pack uh, my uh, computer course classes uh, my workshops and workshop assignments are actually very well distributed throughout the week i even use google calendar for that and to keep track of everything but um, i chose this day because i wanted to uh, like give an idea about my whole week uh, in just a day and since this day was like i had everything in one day this day was packed compared to other days so i chose this day to vlog number 2 is that yes if you are wondering i have already taken admission to a b school and right now we haven't really yet started our regular classes the uh, assignment i was doing was actually a workshop assignments these are uh, which is a part of the orientation program so we are having workshops and we are doing workshop assignments with the regular classes haven't really started but from next week which is uh mon from monday 12th of october we our regular classes will start in google classroom so and uh, i already got my timetable and it's going to be hectic it's going to be fully packed with classes so uh i'm obviously looking forward to it because new classes i'm and i'm excited i might make a vlog about it or i might just not i'll just wait for the physical classes to start i will make a vlog about that so stay tuned for that and lastly uh, thank you so much for watching this video till the end if you like this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and also press that bell bell, bell icon mm, to get notifications every time i upload and uh, what else oh that's it so thank you have a great day bye and annyeong hee gaseyo